If you'd like online business explained to you in a way that you can actually understand, go to latenightim.com forward slash explain. It's completely free and I made it just for you. Now, how about an episode? Episode 192. Late Night Internet Marketing. This week on this special Thanksgiving Day episode of the Late Night Internet Marketing Podcast, we're going to talk about the power of gratitude in your business. Not just how to be grateful, but why it's important for your success. All this and more on the Late Night Internet Marketing Podcast. The Late Night Internet Marketing Podcast. You've been working for somebody else. But you want a business to run yourself. You want to know how to start and where to begin. Can you get out your comfort zone, my friend? Yes, you can do it right when it's late at night. At the end of the day, your dreams burning inside. So keep it up and you will find that you build in your business one. And now, broadcasting late at night from a little studio in the big state of Texas, your host, Mark Mason. Hey, 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 what do you guys have to say today? I am Mark Mason, and this is the Late Night Internet Marketing Podcast. I hope you are having an amazing Thanksgiving day, and if you're not in the United States or if you're getting caught up on podcasts sometime after Thanksgiving. I hope that you're having an amazing week. And if you're in the United States, that your Thanksgiving was amazing. And if you're listening to me from outside the United States, I hope you took a minute this week just to be thankful and grateful for all the things that are going well in your life. Because I know that if if you take enough time, you can find some things that you're really excited about. And that's what I wanted to talk about a little bit today because gratitude and thankfulness, I think, is such an underappreciated and underutilized tool that we all have for success in our business. So I wanted to spend just a little bit of your Thanksgiving day today helping you understand both how to take time to be thankful and grateful and how to frame things to make that possible and to understand why that is a powerful idea for you and your business and can help you be successful. After all, you listen to this podcast because you want to be able to take actions that make your life and your business and whatever's going on on the internet for you better. And so I want to help you do that today, this Thanksgiving day. One of the things that I think is a a powerful idea is this idea of abundance. And I don't really mean abundance mindset in terms of like the law of attraction where I sit around in a dark place and I think happy thoughts and good things happen to me. But I think I'm talking about the kind of abundance where we're grateful for what we have and we expect that to grow. We expect positive things to happen because in a lot of ways in life, I think you make your own luck. Now, most of the time you make it by hard work and you make it by putting yourself in position to win. And that's all about doing the work and really getting out there. But if you're going to sustain that kind of effort throughout your business and your life, you got to have the right mindset to fuel that, right? You got to know why you're doing what you're doing and you've got to be, you know, kind of moving in the right positive direction. You've got to be in the frame of mind to see opportunities. And one of the things that helps you do that is having a mindset of abundance. The way Oprah describes it is like this. I love Oprah. I've never actually met Oprah, but I like a lot of what she has to say. She says, if you look at what you have in life, you will always have more. But if you look at what you don't have in life, you'll never have enough. And she's talking about what you're focused on. You know, are you focused on the fact that your business goals were not met this year? Is that what you're thinking? Are you looking at and saying, man, I'm a loser because I wanted to get XYZ done this year and I didn't get it done? Or are you taking more of a 
mindset of, well, I didn't get everything I wanted to get done this year, but what I did get done puts me in position for all the things that are possible to go forward. Are you frustrated that you have this soul sucking day job? Is that why you're working on your internet business? Because you're running away from that terrible soul sucking day job? Or are you grateful that you have a day job, even though you don't love it, that will pay the bills while you work on your dream? See, that's one of the things that Zig always used to talk about even 30 years ago about people who were underperforming in their jobs. He said, well, make a list of the things that you like about your job. And people would say, well, I don't like anything about my job. And Zig would say, well, they pay you, don't they? And the person would say, well, sure, they pay me. That's why I'm working there. And he said, well, you like to get paid, right? <laughs> and the people would say, oh, yeah, I guess I do like to get paid. And he would go on and on. You get insurance and there are people there that you like. And so it turns out that even with a soul-sucking day job, it is possible to be grateful not only for the things that that day job is making possible in your life right now, even though you don't love it, it's making it possible for you to pay your light bill, but also it's creating possibly for you the opportunity to spend your nights and weekends working on your side hustle, the, the job of your dreams. And so reframing those kinds of things is really important because it allows you to approach whatever it is that you're working on with the right kind of mindset. Tony Robbins says, where focus goes, energy flows. And so what does he mean by that? He says it kind of like this, where focus goes, energy flows. That's a really terrible Tony Robbins <laughs> impersonation, but you know, he's all wound up and doing that great thing. And what he's talking about is the fact that you are going to manifest the things that you think about. And if you're, if you're focused on your, the, you, the terrible nature of your day job and all the things that you don't like about it, that's going to make the, all of that just much more real. All that negative energy is going to flow from that. And that's not going to help you. That's not going to get anything done. Whereas if you're focused on the fact that your day job makes possible this internet business that you're trying to start, your energy is going to flow in that direction. That's going to be a very positive thing. So this is a lot like you, you've heard for years, people talking about, well, you need to be more optimistic. You need to you know, have a better outlook. That's really important in order for you to get where you want to go in 2020. So how do you do that? I mean, what, what do we need to do? And I think what we need to do is we need to start taking the time just a little bit every day to be grateful for the things that are going well for us or to be grateful even for the things that aren't going so well, to be grateful for their, the fact that they're going as well as they are. And I'll give you, I'll give you a, an example. I mean, maybe you've got a kid who's struggling in school and your mind is around the idea that this child is not good at reading or mathematics or whatever. But there are so many things that that child is good at, and you need to be grateful for those. And you need to be grateful that that's a happy, healthy child in your life. And you need to use that positive energy that you, that you derive from being so happy about the things that are going well for that child and use that energy to help them with their reading or whatever. Use that to fuel that work that you need to do to lift that child up. That's just an example of the way that you can take your mindset and shift it and use it as fuel to get stuff done. More specifically in your business, I think one of the most common things this time of year is to look back and say, well, I said at the beginning of the year, I was going to create this product or in my case, launch a course. And I didn't get that done. I mean, I intended to launch my course last year and the year before that, by the way, as you guys know, this is a longstanding struggle of mine. I didn't get it done, but I did make an enormous amount of progress and I have a clear plan. So what should I choose to focus on? Well, I should focus on the fact that I have a clear plan and I'm going to get it done in January. I think that's an amazing thing. I could decide to beat myself up, but I'm very thankful that I'm on the journey that I'm supposed to be on. I found the resources that I need. 
I've been able to hold myself accountable to this point in the journey. I'm very thankful for all that. I've got amazing support from my mastermind group who's supporting me in this journey. It's all good, you know? And so that kind of mindset, that helps me move forward. It helps me visualize this positive outcome. It helps me move forward and create the course because I took the time to analyze what's going on, find some stuff to be grateful about. And then now I can use that energy that that creates that sort of positive mindset energy to fuel my work in that direction and to make things better and to move that whole process forward. Very important. What's the alternative? The alternative is I beat myself up and I end up on the couch because I really don't have the right mindset or mental energy that I need in order to put more work in on my business because I'm defeated. If I'm, if I'm not taking the time to be grateful for the things that I have accomplished and the things that done right, that I've done right, then by definition, I'm focused on these negative things that are bringing me down, sapping my energy and making me slow down in my business because I'm, I'm having a pity party. So my defense against that is gratitude. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to start in today a practice of gratitude. And I'm not talking about some kind of crazy three-hour meditation every day. I just want you in your daily planner or whatever you do to plan your day to pick out one thing. I think the beginning of the day is the best time because that sets you up for success for the rest of the day. To pick one thing that you were grateful for yesterday that made you happy and thought you thought was awesome. One thing, just one small thing that happened yesterday that you thought was truly amazing. Doesn't have to be related to your business, but I think if you'll adopt that practice, that will set you up to start to recognize and celebrate. You know, last episode we talked about celebrating wins. It will set you up, that little bit of gratitude every day will set you up with the right mindset that you need to have in order to be successful in your business. An advanced, better thing would be to double down. And in the evenings, review your day as you do your daily wrap-up. And I hope you're doing something like that where you spend time saying, okay, what, what, what did I get done today and what do I need to do tomorrow so you can hit the ground running tomorrow? You take a look at what happened today and you actually write it down. What are you grateful for that happened today? And then the next morning as you start your day, all you need to do is review what you identified the night before. But that repetition of the at the end of the day and the beginning of the day, that'll sort of take you to the next level with regard to understanding the positive things that are happening in your life, to be grateful for what's going on and leveraging that positive energy that you can use to push yourself forward. It's a very simple practice. I think it's really important. And I thought it was a perfect recommendation for you for this Thanksgiving Day episode. I hope that no matter where you are in the world, that you got to spend some time with someone or some people that are meaningful to you. I hope that you got time to reflect on the things, no matter where you are in the world, that you're thankful for this week. And I hope you will leverage that approach in your business going forward for the rest of forever. These little things, these tiny little mindset hacks are the kind of things that can make all the difference for you and your business. Until next week, ciao. You can do it right when it's late at night. You've been listening to the Late Night Internet Marketing Podcast. Be sure to visit latenightpodcast.com today to leave feedback for Mark. Download special bonus content, access the show notes, and more. See you there. Until then. Until then, go and make some great progress on your internet business. One night at a time. One night at a time. So I thought it would be fun just to give you one example of this gratitude thing that applies directly to this podcast. 
the list of things that I'm thankful for is really incredibly long. I live a blessed life, but I thought one example would be useful. My podcast is not as big as I want it to be. I have friends with tens of millions of downloads, and I'm not that guy. That's not my podcast. I don't have that. And so occasionally I find myself comparing myself to my friends, my very close friends who started about the same times as me and have done a hundred times, a thousand times more than I have with their shows. And I, it's really easy for me or for any of us to fall in a trap and go, man, I wish that was me or what's wrong with me that that's not me or even worse to make some decisions that compromise the way I want to do things because I get desperate to, to be that other person, to, to live their life, to achieve their goals. But that's not what I'm about. And so one of the ways to combat that, to keep things going in the right direction is to be thankful for what I do have. And what I do have is you right now. You're listening to me. You are Nobody else, you're probably by yourself and you're listening to me. And I'm so thankful for that because if I help you, just you, not the other 12 people that are listening to the podcast somewhere else in the world, but it's more than 12. Okay. Just to be clear, but it's you, 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 you and me. And that's what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for having this medium where I can talk to you and maybe on occasion, on a good day, have the privilege of helping you just a little bit. Happy Thanksgiving. Late night internet marketing. Hey, it's Mark again. I wanted to tell you one more time about this absolutely free resource that I have for helping people who are trying to get the big picture for internet marketing actually get started and understand what all their choices are. If that's not you, there's no more content. You can skip to the end. But if you're someone who came to this podcast because you're searching for how to get started online and you just can't cut through all the noise, I get it. That was me in 2007, when I was trying to get started, there were so many people throwing offers at me that I really couldn't even understand what all the different business models were. I couldn't understand how money moved around on the internet. And I couldn't really get a grip on what direction I wanted to go in so I could figure out how to move forward. I've created a free video resource for you just for that purpose at latenightim.com forward slash explain. In several short videos, I just explained to you what internet marketing is all about and what online business is all about and the different options that you have for starting an online business. There's nothing to buy there. You just sign up for access and you get the videos just like that. So if that's interesting to you or if you know someone who's in the same situation, send them that link, latenightim.com forward slash explain. And let me know what you think. I'd love to hear what people are thinking that are in the exact same position that I was in more than a decade ago in 2007. In some ways, it seems like yesterday. And in some ways, it seems like an entire lifetime ago. Again, that's late night. I am.com forward slash explain. Late night internet. Mom.